width of cementum on coronal half is more than apical half or less than apical half there is no cementum on the coronal half or width of cementum is equal throughout the question here is about cementum so what do you mean by cementum it is a specialized mineralized avascular and non innervated connective tissue avascular and non innervated connective tissue covering the anatomic roots of teeth so i have discussed the most important features of cementum it is a specialized mineralized avascular and non innervated that is no blood supply no nerve supply for the cementum and it is a connective tissue covering the anatomic roots of teeth and now we'll be focusing mainly on the thickness of the cementum because our question is regarding the cementum thickness it is said that the thickness of cementum varies in different teeth that is from incisors to canines to premolars to molars it varies in different teeth and at the same time it varies in different regions of same tooth so we should be able to differentiate the meaning of both the statements okay the first statement says the cementum thickness varies in different types of teeth whereas the second statement says the thickness varies in different regions of same tooth that's what we are going to discuss now the thickness of cementum will be greater on distal surfaces as compared to the mesial surfaces so this is attributed to the functional drifting of teeth towards the mesial side functional drifting towards mesial side is the reason for the cementum thickness to be greater on distal surfaces and less on mesial surfaces and now getting on to the cementum thickness in different regions of same tooth it is said that the cementum is very very thin at the level of cj that is the thickness of cementum is very less at the level of cemento enamel junction that is towards the coronal half coronal half of the cementum so the thickness is only about 20 to 50 micrometer whereas it is thickest towards the apex okay as we move towards the apical region it is thickest towards the apex as well as in the furcation areas of molars and the thickness is about 150 to 200 micrometer so here we can observe the difference in the cementum thickness in different regions okay it is thinnest at the level of cj in the coronal half whereas it is thickest at the apical half that is in the apex and in the furcation areas and it is said that with aging the cementum increases in thickness the cementum increases in thickness by 3 fold as the patient ages the cementum thickness also increases by 3 fold and the cementum thickness increases much in the apical region and in the furcation areas in the apical region and in the furcation areas and this is correlated with passive tooth eruption so in case of passive tooth eruption the tooth eruption is compensated by apical deposition of cementum okay cementum is getting deposited in the apical region and at the furcation level to compensate for the passive tooth eruption so passive tooth eruption itself compensates for the occlusal tooth wear that is attrition in case of attrition there occurs passive tooth eruption to maintain the level of occlusion and this passive tooth eruption is compensated by deposition of cementum in the apical third as well as in the furcation areas because the important function of cementum is anchorage it anchors the tooth to the and the underlying alveolar bones so the anchorage is mainly performed by acellular cementum and apart from that the important functions are adaptation and repair so adaptation includes this passive tooth eruption compensation for passive tooth eruption so adaptation and repair are usually by deposition of cellular cementum 
So these are some of the points, important points that we should know regarding the thickness of cementum in different regions of same tooth. And now getting back to the question, the width of cementum on coronal half. So coronal half denotes the region near the cemento enamel junction towards the cervical region. Width of cementum on coronal half is less than the apical region and in the furcation areas. The cementum thickness at the level of CEJ is 20 to 50 micrometer whereas at the apical third it is about 150 to 200 micrometer. Therefore, width of cementum on coronal half is less as compared to the thickness in the apical half whereas option 3 says there is no cementum on the coronal half. There is cementum present on the coronal half and it is mostly acellular cementum. And option 4 says width of cementum is equal throughout. Again, it is a wrong statement because cementum thickness varies in different teeth as well as it varies in different regions of same teeth. Therefore, out of the given 4 options, width of cementum on coronal half is less than the cementum thickness on the apical half. Therefore, option 2 is the right answer here.